Fire Kid watchers, not listeners, watchers. What is up? This video is sponsored by Audible, home to the widest selection of digital audio books, including the bestsellers, new releases, exclusives, and so much more. It's something funny. Go to audible.com slash TFATK, all lowercase, or text TFATK to 500-500 to get started. That's audible.com slash TFATK or text TFATK to 500-500 to get started now. <laughs> gang, gang, what up, Doug? Make it happen, huh? Let's do this, Doug. Thanks for answering the bell, Doug. Here, huh? What's up? You got that title belt, huh? Yeah, what's up, Doug? That's much, your man. belt, son. Hey, you still alive, huh? Where's your glasses at? Which ones? Don't you wear glasses? Yeah. No, hell no. Oh, really? No. Oh, dude, in my like mind. Like glasses? Yeah, in my mind, I always picture with you, you with glasses. Are we rolling? Bro. Everything is rolling. Are we rolling? Bro, I've never... You never had glasses on? Never. Really? Seen glasses? Dude, I swear to God, every time I ever think about you, man, sometimes... Um, I think about you with glasses on, dude. Why? Huh? Because it's how you come across to people in their imaginations. With with glasses? I guess. Like reading glasses? Yeah. How about the, when, when I get off stage at the Laugh Factory, right away you go, bro, I figure out what you look like. I'm like, what? This is front of a bunch of other comics. I'm like, what? You're like, you look like a Rottweiler. We got a shit together. Oh, you do, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just saying, dude. Grab that mic, son. You do, man. That's look, your belt, son. You look here. We go to the strap, baby. Come get it. Who wants it, huh? Who want? I'll tell you. A few guys aren't happy. You got really? Uh, Michael Rapport, not happy. Yeah, but he's in the seniors division now. What about somebody that's still playing the real Chris ball? Chris D'Elia, not happy. Oh, Chris D'Elia, dude. Well, look, the daddy's not happy. If you want the strap, come get the strap. That's come what get I'm it, saying. Son. Come get it, son. You want a piece of this? Who else? Sean Austin. Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, not happy either. Dude, Tony Hinchcliffe, bro. Put on some weight, dude. You can't weigh nine pounds and compete <laughs> at a heavy weight. Okay? <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe looks like a, um, he looks like a, uh, he looks like he's been just run solely on bone marrow, man. <laughs> you look like you don't even have a skeleton. <laughs> it's just bone marrow that's just kind of holding on to each other. Yeah. It's like a, like yeah, dude. Like a jellyfish. He looks like a strong jellyfish, and that's all he looks like. And who wants the strap? Dalia, come get it, dude. Your boy Simon Rex ain't happy. Simon Rex, he, dude, he wasn't even on the voting. Come get it. <laughs> he wasn't even on the voting. You want that hitter? Come get it. And I'm taking this thing on tour with me. Every show I go to, you want it, the strap will be there. You want to get a pick with the strap? Come get a pick with the strap, dude. Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> woo! 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 I'm not That's more of an that. owl, but I got an owl on my shirt today. That's a legit belt. That's an interesting shirt. Dude, this is a beautiful belt, man. It's a legit belt, right? And anybody wants a Michael Rapport, you want it, dude? Quit crying about everything, bro, and come I, get back in the game, dude. I got to shoot with him tomorrow, and he's not happy. Who, Rappaport? Yeah, he sh- we're shooting this comedy bit together tomorrow, and he's not happy. I wouldn't be happy either. He got beat by an underdog, and he just... You were the dog, huh? Huh? You were the under... It's a Cinderella story, really. Dude, it's not Cinderella. I think it's more masculine than that. <laughs> I think it's more of like a male, like Cinder. Well, you, they, you that's know? the term Cinderella story. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I thought you wore glasses, man. That's strange, because I yeah. see you all the time. I've, I've never worn glasses. Really? Never. Damn, what do I wear this with, dude? A crown? I don't know. You Maybe you should just wear that in, like, a tank top. <laughs> nah, bro. Like a wife on. beater. <laughs> with that mullet? Nah, man. This isn't a mullet, dude. Bro, that's a mullet if I've ever seen one. You have the same mullet that John, you know what John Crook is? John Crook? Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you and him have the same haircut. Do we really? Bring up John Crook. Is he a golfer? Nah, baseball player. I'm thinking of John Daly. Uh, John oh, Daly yeah. had that. John, you know John Crook. John Crook, boy. Everything was a triple because he was on cocaine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's solid, boy. Yeah, son. Looks like he ate his family. That, a, that dude's a legend. Yeah, that boy's bloated, didn't he? Yeah, he does look bloated, actually. Yeah, he looks a little bloated. And that's back when you could do cocaine and play. A lot of these guys today couldn't handle it. Yeah, how do you how are you going to do a bunch of cocaine and stuff? Tits, though. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's, that's the only thing that tempts me to do some coke. I've never done it in my life. That's the only thing. I'd get shred city, son. Yeah. Oh, dude, you would be... Just yeah, that's city, bro. Oh, What's up, dog? Whatever, dude. Whoa, 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 relax, bro. <laughs> bro, you look like a fucking dude. What's up, <laughs> dude? You look like a dude that works at a Chevron, bro. That got stung by bees, dude. You look fucking. You gotta get your life together, bro. John Crook. looks like he's on soy cocaine. That's why he's got them titties, dude. <laughs> 
I'm <laughs> like, oh, there's some estrogen heavy <laughs> yeah, yeah. of tofu cocaine. He's got that tofu. Yeah. <laughs> got them tofu tits. <laughs> oh, man, his hair is powerful, though. Yeah, he had beautiful hair. Dude, would you ever go something different with your hair? I don't know. I was thinking about this morning. I was doing my hair. I went, God, what, what else? Should, maybe I should do something else. I said, what if I went to a real stylist? I wonder what they'd be like. You should do this. Yeah. Like an ex. You ever gotten like someone who knows hair? Uh-uh. Yeah, um, that makes sense. No, I started cutting my own, man. I don't trust this man that's been cutting mine over there by Floyd's. You go to so, Floyd's off Lincoln? Uh, I go to the one off of, uh, there's one off of Wilshire. And Floyd's is a mix-up, though, because you go to Floyd's, and, you know, I don't know the qualifications to be at Floyd's. Everyone's kind of their own business. Yeah, you It just be, says Floyd's. It's a lot of violent lesbians, too. A lot of people there have misdemeanors. <laughs> yes, um, tattoos, piercings yeah. of the nose. Oh, yeah, everything. Yes, it's like one lady had both of her eyes pierced shut. And I'm like, what the fuck is You're this? Your dude? Hair yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Most of them were, came here to be actors and shit, didn't work out. Uh-uh. From the resentful, cutting your hair. And then Trying that's to make why me look cut- like shit. No yeah. one I got to audition. Yes. Fucking haters. So they make you look like shit because they can't, they, they don't want you getting their part that they, don't, that they couldn't get. Correct. Yeah. It's a lot of that out here, man. But yeah, this thing is awesome, man. And thank you guys so much. Thanks to the voters. You know what I'm saying, boy? This thing is real, so, dude. One, one of your fans was like, yo, if you're doing Guess the Year belts, this place give, does belts. So I looked at the link. I'm like, damn, that shit looks legit. Sent it to Chin. I was like, yo, strike up these belts, son. Wow. Thank you guys, man. This is really cool. Thanks. You Chin. could have two, son. <laughs> you, you never know. You keep that one. I'm you keeping could, this. You could one. be like Tim Sylvia. He slept with his belt. Who did? Tim Sylvia, the UFC champion, slept with his belt. Oh, I'll sleep with this thing, dude. I'll take this to the fights. Who wants this thing? Max Ferguson? Max. Um, uh, st- uh, stuttering. Uh, who's that other guy? <laughs> um, Mike Payne, whatever that guy is. Right. Iron Mike Payne. You, got, you know your fighters? Huh? <laughs> you, you, I'll tell you what. You Max wanna, Payne. You want, you, <laughs> Max Payne. You want to go viral, you shoot a sex tape in that thing. Oh, dude, yeah. Do it for the fans, son. <laughs> Just wear that bit strap. Where am I going to wear it? Out? Around my neck during sex? Nah, you put tie, tie it real tight just around your upper, oh, yeah. upper area. Get that dick out. Get that dark arts dick out. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that D-A-D. That fucking dad stick. You know what I'm saying? I got the heart of a lesbian, son. And I'm coming to a city near you. That dad stick. Well, you're not a dad, but um, mm. you're going to bring that belt to Calgary? Yep, Is that where I'm, you're at next? Yep, I'm up in Calgary at Yuck Yucks. And then, I was just uh, there, man. Were you? They're going to love you there, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. How nice is it there? It, oh, Calgary's dope. It's like Denver. It reminds me a lot of Denver. Yeah. I've been in Denver. It reminds me of a shitload of Denver where I was born and raised. Yeah. Oh, really? You're a mountain child, huh? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. City kid, though. City really? Kid. Um, where, Denver? City of Denver? Yeah, Denver's a big city. I was in Boston. Oh, Denver's not a Breckenridge. city, bro. Yeah, Denver's a city. Bro, it's, I mean, <laughs> there's buildings there and there's cars going through it. But you downtown can't even... Denver, son. <laughs> nah, dude, nah. You get somebody fucking stab me with a granola knife in Denver, dude. You can't Bro, even... that's Boulder. <laughs> now, it's not New Orleans. New Orleans is a different type of city. You can't get murdered in Denver, man. Oh, you can. Uh-uh. You go down to Montbello, Five Points, something like that. Although Five Points cleaned up right now. Yeah. So, but so still, Montbello's even... little hoodie. A you little to... hoodie? What? They're just, it's just like some secondhand, it's like... You know, they're just selling, like, you know, old North Face jackets. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> no, bro. You go to Highlands Ranch where my brother lives. Yeah. Now it's all white people. Is it's it? all white people. It's the suburbs. A lot of, lot of meth going around them. Oh, parts. really? A lot of meth. Yeah. A lot of meth. And also a lot of swingers. Now, oh. I don't know if you know this, but mm-hmm. if you go to Denver, you want to go about 20, hour, 20, mi- 20 minutes north. 20 hours, 20 dude. Hours. 20, you want to go about 20 minutes north of Denver <laughs> to Highlands Ranch? <laughs> Because what the swingers do is they, they put pink flamingos on their lawn. Oh, wow. And they'd be there in the winter. And like, God, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. But that means they're down to party. Oh, that's a code. It's like the Underground Railroad. Yeah, did you but know for, that? Uh, older people having sex with each other's couples. Wow. Yeah. yeah, because back in the Underground Railroad, if slave times, if you were cool with slaves and you wanted them at your house and you wanted to have sleepovers with them, then you would put like a lantern outside of your porch at night. And they would know that it was all good to come over and like eat and chill and stuff? Yeah. And they would know that it was safe to stop over there. Yeah, it's kind of like that without the slavery. Yeah. You just get your dick sucked. Dude, I was in, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, so it's real, Denver's a big swingers area? Yes, yeah, sir. Wow, yeah, I wonder white, why. That's some white shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's white suburb shit. Yeah, black they people aren't bored. sharing their, black people ain't sharing pussy with each other, you know? Nah, like white people, they get bored with their nine to fives, and then they're just trying to watch their wives get fucking rammed. Oh. I've had know. quite the offers there when I Have you? To, yeah, I never did it. To what? Come in what? 
come in. I used to be. I used to train soccer moms in the morning, six a.m. And they they want you to come in with the husbands. Well, not all of them. Some want okay, to keep well, on a secret. A swinger, bro. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying. I quite the offers, man. Oh yeah. Well, I'm sure people have tried to fuck you, but I'm just. You saying. ever been to swingers party? Dude, I went. I was in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, and this is, we're doing a stand up gig down. I love it there. Yeah, it's beautiful, and they. Me and this dude pull up, this young brother, who actually, this guy went to jail, is in, uh, is in jail right now for murder. I hope he's listening to this. Uh, he might, I don't know if he gets, do you guys get, go to jail? Do you guys play in jail? I think they have access somehow through the internet. That's awesome, Shout out dude. to all the inmates. Yeah. Praise God. Trump did that, I bet. Yep. You know what I'm Praise, saying? I mean, good Let's luck. give him a little credit. A little guy. commissary, you get your sticky buns with some fire in the kid. Dude, what if Trump said, I'm unleashing fighter in the kid in all prisons across America? That'd be dope. <laughs> Two-term Trump. <laughs> dude. Two-term Trump. <laughs> Come get that second strap, Trump-o. <laughs> Trump-o. Dude, I, fa- I bet in 10 years, you and Trump could be doing a tag team match in the WWE oh, Dude, somewhere. I'd be so down. <laughs> that'd be so crazy. But oh, back to your boy who's in prison listening. So, yeah. So, I pull it. So me and this guy who's a now a probably second dick, whatever. A murderer, yeah. I mean, he's a swinger. Yeah, he so, was a swinger. Well, here's what happened. We pull into this hotel, and this is the hotel we usually stayed at. We've been there before to do this gig. You know, you do a one nighter in Lake of the Ozarks, and you do the other two nights in uh, Columbia, Missouri. And we pull in down there to Lake of the Ozarks. We walk up to the front desk of the hotel. We've been there before, and they said boys only, girls only, or boys and girls only. And I'm thinking like, well, shit, you know, I think I'm just trying to get these, you know, Ramada Rewards Club. That's all I'm thinking, you yeah. know, I think I. So boys only. Yeah, yeah that's all I'm yeah. thinking. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm like, what honors program is this? Like, is this, you know. <laughs> Some sort of Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> I get extra points or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, dude, they had bracelets with these boxes and it was a swingers had rented out the whole hotel oh they're trying to fuck and they didn't even know we were coming and the 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 hotel had forgot that they had this this monthly deal with the comedians way to go yeah so we show up and we didn't have anywhere else to go and so they let us stay there uh for the weekend we couldn't compete in any activities right which is like they got all kind of sex games and you would see just like these couples rolling in with those like push carts with lake Lake of ozarks (laughs) isn't actually i'm trying to be cool here this i wouldn't say it, mm, it's not the most beautiful. People. Oh, it wasn't real hotties, dude. And they had a couple of people brought a brother in with him. You'd see a couple of white, <laughs> older white people with a young brother, and you're like, what is this? And you could he tell he work. was that hitter, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He, yeah he's the cleanup. Oh, yeah. he was Albert Bell, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Albert fucking, Bell, that's so old school. He was Tony <laughs> Gwynn, bro. <laughs> he was a Mark McGuire up in that bitch. <laughs> no. yeah. It was a lot of Rick Sutcliffe's and a fucking, t- and then that Tony Gwynn, you know? And a lot of the couples looked the same, man and woman. Yes, similar um, haircuts. Very similar haircuts, yep. And it was Midwesterners, and they were... Out of shape. Oh, Walmart yeah. fans. Not a lot of shape. Yeah, well, it was one shape. Yes. It was kind of a general shape. Melting. Yeah, kind they're, of a, They're all melting. Yeah, kind of like gravity's buddy kind of shape, you know? <laughs> I went to the Walmart there. We used to go there on spring break. My my boy, Paul Creighton, had a experience at a house there, so we go on the lake there, and yeah. cruise is the best. We went to Walmart to like pick up beer and snacks and shit. And I thought I was in a different country. Yeah, beautiful country. Nice people, though. Oh, yeah, beautiful, dude. They probably don't, probably don't want to do a, a swingers party there, though. Well, it was crazy. So we're there for the weekend, right? And so we couldn't go to any events. We would go do our comedy, and How then we'd come know, back. How would they though, if you decided to start fucking? Dude, we would have been the best men and best-looking men and women at that whole event if we would have walked in any so the crazy thing was there was like this big huge bingo downstairs they had like 20 of those what's that hand bingo thing where you put your hands oh you talk i know what you're talking about yeah yeah no the, no it's uh where you touch different colors it's yeah like about it's diversity like right hand blue uh left leg yellow and that it's, it, oh it's like a united nations being uh, for your feet and yeah, hands twister. yeah twister twister but yeah naked. it's like yes but naked and they <laughs> yeah, had like, we did that in college did you really yeah with who Girls. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking, bro. You know, trying Colorado, to sneak son. one by you there. Yeah, no, nice try. <laughs> oh, Me and my roommates. Yeah. <laughs> you had a roommate with three legs. Yeah. Oh, dick, blue. <laughs> dick, blue. <laughs> dick, mouth. Uh, so you, so they were doing that downstairs? But they had like 20 boards all put together in this huge conference room, and they had like 50 people playing. Just fucking priming the walls with cum. Yeah. Just busting nuts. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it's but people would also them. be sitting there having like a bowl of snack, like Fritos, and like, they had like a hot dog thing. just what thing. they do. Yeah, it was just, I mean, it was almost like a carnival, but with, you know 
more crotch, like just hella crotch at it, you know? Yeah. But then the crazy part carnival was. Carnival dick. Yeah, carnival of dick, yeah. right? Yeah, dick. Yeah. And even some of the vaginas look like dicks that were just kind of g- given up. God, I don't want to be there. Oh. It's a nightmare. Oh. I don't want to be there. It was tough. I heard, I heard in LA there's some banger. Swinger parties? Yes. Howie, in, invite only, and I heard it's just. It, oh, I shit bet. goes down. Howie Mandel has a great story where he performed at one he didn't know. And he showed up, he showed they some lady met him outside, and then they brought him in through a, a garage door, and next thing you know, he's performing, everybody's just fucking in this room. And he had to perform for like, he's a legend. For like 15 minutes. What's the point? They like, paid him in li- cash. Someone listening? Some guy's like, hey, do that, do that bit about the taxi cab, you know? But bro, so the No crazy- one's paying attention. <laughs> just- why. why would you hire a comedian at a swingers party? I think just This to- dude's like, bro, shut up. I'm trying to get my <laughs> dick sucked dude. here. You're fucking what are you talking about up there? Aren't you the guy from America got talent or some shit? Shut up. Yeah. Um, but the crazy part was the elevator. We came in, pushed the elevator one night and the doors open and it was this just fuck trolley, bro. And there's just people fucking in there and drinking cherry seven up out of a two liter straight. I love cherry seven up. It's good. It's nice. Dude, I remember when it came out, it changed everything when I was a kid. Dude, I got one for you. Do you remember Claire Pepsi? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, it, it was, was a scam. Some, it was a scam. Yeah, something had they happened. They had the coloring in there. Yeah, something had happened. They made a bunch without the color, and like we got to get rid of it. And then they're like, "Whoop! It's clear <laughs> Pepsi." And I was like, "Oh hell yeah, I love that stuff." Dude, it, didn't, it doesn't make sense. It didn't make any sense. But it sold for a little bit. It sold for a little bit. And people lost their minds. I remember one lady killed herself. She couldn't handle it. Yeah. Um, there was all kind of crazy rumors going around when Clear Pepsi came out. That was a big deal. And then the do they still make Cherry Seven Up? I don't think so. No, dude. I remember one year our mom didn't have a lot of money or whatever. So for uh, Christmas, she got us like two liter sodas, you know. And she gave us all these two liter sodas, and we just and we never had our own two liter. You know, we we're little. Big deal. Oh, dude, we were shaking them up and just spraying them all over each other's bodies and fucking licking the sugar off each other's shoulders all and right. shit, bro. Okay, just having a, a blast, right. man. Okay. I remember that though, and that's the first time I ever saw Cherry Seven Up. Game changer. <laughs> you ever fuck with that Mountain Dude Red, though? Yeah, but that's just too much. There's something too much going on in there. Ma- Mount, Mountain Dude Red, to me, it was just it was just toxic. Yeah. It was like it's pure red. There's too much red dye. That's why 7-Up uh, Sev- Cherry was perfect. Because you could tell they didn't go over the top. Yeah. It was yeah. just a little pink. It was almost yeah. a pink. Yeah, that Cherry 7-Up, bro. Oh, the Mountain Dew Red's trouble, bro. Yeah, see, look at that guy. He's in a garage. Teens dying. Oh, they die. see, they dye their hair with that shit. It's so strong. See that? Yeah, that's I'm not, not trying good. to fucks with that. Yeah. I, what do you think that does look to your Look at insides? that kid. He's Irish now. And he had it all. Look how much he's been drinking. Yeah. He had it all, dude. Yeah, that can't be good for you. That can't be good for your dick. That kid leaves sugar in your stomach. If you're drinking a bunch of that, dude, you're probably... Mountain Dew, why, why, but Mountain Dew, uh, nice and cold, is delicious. Soda's terrible for you, but if I'm going to drink one, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew is nice. It's I'll so tell you what, much sugar, though. Oh, it's so bad for you. But if you're going to fuck with it, you know, I used to like as a kid, but I felt like, I felt like a pure bitch when I drink around my friends after mm. we get done from the court playing basketball. I'd be around all my black friends. Mm-hmm. I'd drink a Fresca. Really? I drink Damn, a Fresca, bro. and my friends would judge the shit out of me. Fresca dude, was like the should, P- <laughs> Fresca was like the last soda you could drink as a grandparent. Dude, yeah, right. Before you but had to I just have water. I yeah. love, everyone was like, oh "What the God, fuck is that a Fresca?" Bro. I'd have my pinky up like this. <laughs> Fucking right, it's a Fresca. They're fresh though, yeah. ice cold. But my friends would judge okay, the bro. fuck out of me. They're for fucking adults, dude. I <laughs> know. I was crazy, man. You're drinking frescas, bro. What else were you doing, man? Dude, fresca. I make myself a nice grilled cheese. Oh, my God. And a God. fresca. You sound like a 60-year-old. Bro. I know. Jesus. That was my favorite drink. The gra- the fresh-ass grapefruit fresca. <laughs> yeah. You sound like a lonely dude on a picnic, bro. I know. That's crazy. Kids yeah. and shit. I know. Are people still molesting kids, dude? I swear to God, we were like. I feel like, like the- it's going down. Yeah. You know more white vans and shit, right? Yeah, vans are out. Um, they don't make vans anymore. Yeah, they make those sprinters, but that's for celebrities. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But there's no like murdering vans anymore. Yeah, I don't think there's any because I don't even hear like a lot of my buddies have kids and none of them have said that their kids have gotten you know it's not as crazy it's not as wild as it used to be. No, well, because now like the the word is out. If you own a white van, it's like you, you might as well just ride on the side. I fuck kids. Yeah, or so, at least like, I like just, to meet them sometimes. They're just out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like a mall Santa. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with vans. Yeah, all mall the kids Santa's know. Oh. No, out. 
Mall Come Santas, on, bro. or the or uh, the Easter bunnies. Yeah. Fuck you. Ah, uh-huh. dude, I like seeing rare things, man. They used to have. I remember they had somebody who called in our podcast, and they said uh, they'd never seen a black little person before. Oh, like a black midget? Yeah, and they had one in our town, dude, and he had these dreads, right? This dude named D- uh, No Dante, right? No Dante? Yeah, and he had these dreads, bro, and they he, they were so long he would fucking trip over them when he was running, bro. Oh, fuck. But he was a fucking G, dude. <laughs> yeah. And he would play basketball, but he would like, he would kind of cheat a little bit because it was almost like soccer. Sometimes you'd almost catch him playing soccer, but he was so fast you could barely see it. You like know? he would kick you with his feet, but since he was short, you'd let it slide? Yeah, you'd let it slide. Not where I come from. But you really? Go- no, 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 no. We can't have that. Yeah, man. People, I think he was like a town mascot. People loved him, man. I don't know what happened. I love, I love how you take calls on your show. You just take calls. How, how do you filter out? Do, I, well, I assume there's not too many people calling, like, talking shit. Like, you're not getting trolls and stuff. No, we had a guy. A lot of people will have difference of opinion. We get some stuff talking stuff. Difference like, of opinion is fine, but it, no one is going to call me like, you're the worst comic ever. You fucking suck, you hack, and then hang up or anything. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't got much of that. Good, we get man. a lot of people crying, jerking off. We've had a couple of dudes fu- fucking and no. leaving voicemails. Yeah. I'll have to do a thing. You do uh, voicemails? Yeah, people leave voicemails, and oh, then we play smart. them back. Oh, that's super smart. Yeah, because some of these fucking mooks, you can't have them just running. <laughs> no. You know? I, I figured you had a producer who's controlling it, be like, all right, caller seven. Here we go. We got Jamie in Dallas. Jamie, what do you got for Theo? <laughs> Hi, Theo. I'm here, and I'm worried about my boyfriend. He's been doing a ton of, ton of coke and grew a mullet out, and yeah. he's starting to act a lot like you, and are we going to make it? You know, is that like the like, show? Yeah, you're going to make it at least. Two years in a row, baby. <laughs> you, got, you got at least two years in you. I guess it's something like that, man. Um, yeah, it's just people just jerk. It's a lot of dudes that are just addicted to jerking off mostly and just struggling. So, struggling with jerking off all the time? Bro, that stuff's killing people, I think. Well, your boy... Uh, do they do it? You guys, do you jerk off, Jin? Of course, man. Wow. Jin looks like a See? jerker. Really? Wow, I don't think I he does. Really? Yeah. I could never picture an Asian guy doing it. When I picture it in my head, it's always a white guy doing it. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta be honest. Me too. It's usually a white dude in a corner, like yeah. in, in yeah. just in shame, no, bro. curled over, just like no, what? Like you what? thought, it, what? <laughs> That's what I picture. Dude, my mom called me when I was young. She opened the door and I was jerking off, right? Like full, like just. Oh, I was having a party, bro. Yeah, yeah, you, you know? were beating the shit out of. That oh, I'd planned it, bro. I'd yeah. set an alarm, you know. What were you jerking off to? Oh, just. Just the pure imagination, bro. Just ah, like, that's weak. Pure imagination. No, this is back when imagination was good, bro. Yeah. When I had all the filters, the drugs bro. and all that yeah. shit. Yeah, Oslo, when I had all the filters yeah. in my brain. And I was jerking off to I some. Pic- I picture you as a kid with a mullet, and you got you kind of you looked a little bit like Joe Dirt, and you got like real short cut off jeans. Your dicks hang out the front, <laughs> and you got this mullet, and you're like dirty. No. But you just got your socks on, and you're just jacking off to like Tool or something. Oh, dude. Well, my <laughs> that's how I picture my head. Oh, oh. First of all, thank you. <laughs> That's one of the coolest things I've heard of. For small things. No, dude. I would jump up and down and jerk off on my bed. My thing was to jump to jerk off and also be jumping on the bed at the same time. Like a trampoline. Because it would get your butt bl- bl- blood going in your body and then you'd spray out farther. Oh wow, that makes sense. <laughs> oh dude, you could fucking I mean you could put a fucking you could put a silk mustache on a plant. <laughs> You know, a plant. Oh, some bro. Harvey Weinstein shit. You could like, drop some fuck fucking boy. You could put that fucking. You could throw a, you know, a beautiful little, um, you know, a little, uh, just a a white word curtain. You could drop that fucking mustache on a plant from about eleven feet away. <laughs> Was there any? But I didn't. I didn't have porn as a kid. I, I didn't even have magazines. I'm at a cover of uh, this female rapper in Mercedes. She was bent over like a Cadillac. Mm. I jack off to that all the time. Yeah. She but you remember what you jack off when you were young? I mean, I remember if I saw like a one. I remember my buddy's mom had a brazier one time that she would leave hanging in the bathroom, and I'd just go in there and to just, the brazier. Oh, bro! I would tie it around my fucking <laughs> face so that each cup like came over, like oh, right some weird left shit. a little bit of nose, but the nostrils were covered. So it's, just the middle. Oh, this this. Just that name. This, bro, it's that almost like that Versace, the killing Versace shit. Where What's you, that? Your like, nose taint? What is this thing? That little part? Uh, I don't, your septum. No, it's your naint, isn't it? A little <laughs> bit. Be. A little bit. You'd cover up so you can almost restrict your breathing? Oh, bro. So I had to breathe solely through these fucking just, these straight up titty Booby shields. Holders. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Those, That's what you used to like, huh? Those fucking milk holsters. Bro, I could smell the milk. I could smell the skin. <laughs> I could smell the nipple. I could smell the children. I could smell all the years of my buddy growing up. <laughs> what the fuck, bro, bro? I could smell it all, dude. Wow. And it would go straight <laughs> into my head. That's creepy. And, that, dude, I would jerk. When I was, sometimes when I was young, when I'd masturbate, I'd pass out. Almost like that movie Butterfly Effect. You yeah. go back in time. Did he do that from jerking off? <laughs> no, he gets a bloody nose and does it. Dude, imagine if every time you did it, you went back in time. Yes. So all these dudes just keep showing up through time. Yes. Yeah. Imagine if you went back to what you were thinking about. Oh, man. It was so much more powerful then. Now it's just like. Ah, it's because it's overrated. You've, you're, you joined the 10,000 club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those guys who hit 10,000 home runs. Do you think they give a fuck about hitting home runs anymore? Probably not. No, it gets old. Yeah. It's li- you're talking about life now. Yeah. It's like breathing now. I'm Cal Ripken now, my dick. Yeah, you're Cal Ripken. <laughs> yeah. You're the Ted Williams of jacking off. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's too much. But it's a lot for kids, man. But yeah, we went to that swingers thing and we that elevator opened up and I just remember seeing just this whole, you know, it was almost like the it was like, you know that painting that Michelangelo did where those two people are naked touching each other in the air or whatever? Sixteenth. Yeah, sixteenth chapel. Yeah. It was like that, but it was like just a bunch of just people just just guts and everything was a titty. Like everything in there looked like a titty. And it smelled like Mountain Dew Red Fritos. Yeah, it smelled like Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, it definitely had that fucking dick after scent. Oh, know? that's the worst. Fritos up front and fucking cock in the back, boy. <laughs> dude, I went to. Uh, I said hide and go sniff, dude. You think you're getting one thing and you get another. You, you do know? not want that. I went to a swingers party on accident in Denver. It was below. We were, we were parting up top. Went below and said, do not enter. Me and my friend's like, oh, get he was like bumping down there. So we went down there and we realized it was a swingers party because it had a sign on it. Mm-hmm. And they had like rules. But it was like, I'd say the ratio is 10 to 1, dudes to, guy, to girls. Yeah. Not good. Not good. In the, like the, the seven girls that were there and the 70 dudes, I just felt bad for them. Yeah. I wanted to be like, girl, let's get out of here. They were... <laughs> You could tell their, their their morale was not hot. Yeah, their self esteem was not booming. Well, that's why you got to have like a Robert E. Lee type of guy in there. You got to have a straight up William Wallace running up and down the you know the to line. motivate them. Yeah, to motivate these chicks at a at a at a gang bang. That's yeah, a, you got to keep the morale high yeah. because if reality hits, they go, "What the fuck <laughs> am I doing?" Yeah. You don't need that. Yeah, you need to be passing out DSW. You need that coupons. Tony Robbins dick game going yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you need that dude dropping knowledge yeah. on these girls. Women, <laughs> join me. You yeah. can do this. Yeah. yeah, man. Women have put up with a lot, dude. You know they're putting up with a lot out there. So will guys just to bust that nut at those swinger things, man? Really? Well, yeah. You're waiting in line and shit. Like you're you're waiting for a ride or some shit. You know, like you. It's like Uber for your dick, really, at that Yeah, thing. you got to wait, man. There, there's going to be some other dudes dropping some gifts off before oh. you get in there, man, before it's your turn to, oh. to get your five minutes of fame. What kind of shoes do you wear? I would wear those pool shoes, I think, you know, like this. You talking about shoes. the aqua socks? Yeah. Oh, dude, nothing nothing makes a girl up dry up fast in aqua socks. Oh, That's on. a terrible <laughs> idea, bro. I might wear Uggs in that bitch. Oh, damn, dude. I wear some Uggs, keep my feet warm. Dude, what the fuck, bro? I might wear Uggs or my Yeezy 750s. What? Yes. The Yeezy. The Yeezy. Oh, bro, you're going to be fucking naked, bro. Busting nuts. Oh. Dude, I'd have to get my butt waxed, I think, bro. That's my thing. Like, I have so much hair on my butt. Like, I walk. If I'm hooking up with a chick, I walk out of the room backwards and shit <laughs> my butt. It's that bad? It just makes it. I'm self-conscious about it, you know? Why don't you uh, Brazilian wax it? I'm just scared of that, man. I met a girl, and she waxes people's balls, too. And yeah, they call it B&B, it? button balls. Oh. It's actually the most common practice for men. Is it? Yeah, I used to date a girl who uh, specialized in that. And she, she was like, man, 60% of my client are men. Mm. She goes, they do the B&B. You want to come in? I'm like, what is it? She goes, balls and butt. They literally do all that, the taint, and then your, your booty hole. <clears throat> I, 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 I had, her, oh. I had my, a girl try it once. Uh-huh. It's on the inside of my thigh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Never again. Hurt? I'd rather get a tattoo on my fucking face. Oh. It hurts so bad. I'd rather get that fucking Nate stamp, dude. Me too, bro. I'd get that 100%. Tat on my Don't Nate. Don't do it, man. Yeah. But you sh- if, you, if you have a hairy ass, like if I could braid your ass hair, yeah. uh, you should probably get it removed. You couldn't braid it. You could gel it down, though. You like could his, part it to the side? Dude, I had an uncle, and he had so much hair on his neck, he would gel it down for church because <laughs> he didn't want to um, shave it off because it was his hair. 
And it was like a thing against God. You gelled down the sides, huh? Oh, he gelled his whole neck hair down. You might want to gel the... Your, you basically got a duck tail. <laughs> oh, dude, a look, duck tail hanging out the back. I look like shit, man, you know? <laughs> but nobody expects anything out of me. That's the best thing. You don't think like, so? you show up, people look, you know... People ask, where's the honey guy? You know, that's obviously been... Where's the yeah. honey? <laughs> we look like you've been stung by bees bro, all the time. Why do I look... Are you saying I'm bloated? Doesn't he, Jim? <laughs> do I look bloated? Bro, it looks like you try to drink honey right out the hive and a bunch of bees got you, bro. <laughs> Wait, are you saying I'm yeah. swole no, or I'm fucking bloated? I mean, you're swole for sure, dude. I'd be swole too if fucking 200 bees were babysitting my face all the time. <laughs> You look like you got fucking stung by a bunch of bees, dude. Bro. Where do you live at, bro? In a comb? You got to tighten up, bro. You're going to get diabetes, dude. Bro. What the fuck, dude? Come on, man. What the fuck? You got to tighten up, bro. You got that bee syndrome bro, or whatever it is. you look like you hang out with rats. Bro, I look like shit. Bro, you look like the rat king. What the fuck you talking about? You're Whatever, bro. You're a mullet. This ain't look, a mullet, you look, dude. You look malnourished, bro. Okay, I'll agree to that. I'll agree okay. to that. I'm you on some like bad diet, dude. Bro. But dude, not I, the cool I, Master Splinter <laughs> one, you know. Like you have no other choice. Oh yeah, like the one in that Christmas play, like that one. <laughs> yes, yeah. not cool, man. And Nutcracker, the Rat King, and <laughs> the Nutcracker. Rat King. Oh. You look like the leader of the people in Vegas who sleep underground. <laughs> you know there's a, a community underground? You look like they're the voice of the underground. I look like I run the underground Airbnbs. <laughs> 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 like they have to check in with yeah. you. Because you kind of yeah. got your shit together. Yeah. And now you have a belt to make you official. Oh, oh let me see man. what key. Let me get your key here. And then you just have this giant fucking rat that everyone fucking <laughs> <laughs> admires. Don't pet the Playboy. That's what I'm going to make a shirt that says that on the back. Oh, Don't pet man. the Playboy, dude. Well, the scary part is, I start to think, is this the best I'm going to look, you know? Yeah, I'm going downhill myself. Yeah, I, yeah. I got another year before people are like, oh, shit. Shop's falling off like a motherfucker. When Callan's been falling apart, man, bless his heart, dude. I saw him the other day. And, man, I don't know if they're not. I mean, I thought he was a... Look like he just went to an early movie. He looked like a senior, you know? <laughs> and it was just weird. I caught him at a glimpse and was like, oh, wow. Yeah, if the light hits his face right, you're like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. It's Somebody how- get this guy some jello. Someone get this guy a, a nice warm mask and some cucumbers <laughs> yeah, to relax, yeah. you know? Well, a lot of it's a stress. I think a lot of his skin falls off of his body a lot, it seems like, because of stress. <laughs> I almost, you ever seen that movie Death Becomes Her? Mm. Where they take that 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 potion and that makes them stay alive forever, but their body can't keep up with, it, so they're falling apart. Like they have to spray paint their skin and shit. Mm-mm. You ever seen Death Becomes Her? Is it cool? Hell yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> really? Fuck yeah. Never heard of it. Death Becomes Her? Fuck Death Becomes dude. Her is a classic, bro. Dude, classic, bro. A classic what, dude? Movie! <laughs> Death who? Becomes Her? Yeah, for who? For <laughs> the world. Oh, my God. Meryl Streep? Oh, I love Meryl Streep, dude. Well, Death Becomes Her, one of her <laughs> biggest movies. Dude, I'd meet too with Meryl Streep, bro. If she Legend. came on to me. Not, I wouldn't do it the other way. But I'd watch her jerk off into a plant. <laughs> oh, wow. You got Goldie Hawn. You got uh, Meryl Streep. And then Bruce Willis mm-hmm. is the doctor. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a big movie, son. Classic. Dude, I can't believe that um, I saw, oh, I went to Mitzi Shore's funeral last night. Oh, how was that? Service. On on Sunday, yeah. Yeah. It was interesting, man. Jim Carrey was there. What? That's my hero. Yeah. Dude, it was pretty crazy to see him. Um, I've seen him over there before at the comedy store, but it was just interesting to see because he used to work there, you know? Hell yeah, he used to work there. For him to be back there and like, you know, just seeing like all the people that probably used to work there when he was there, like the people that were... You know, the waitresses and stuff. You just saw him having a good time, which was pretty cool, you and know. Do you have the beard? Do he look crazy or is he doing better? No, he looked pretty normal. I mean, he's always kind of looked like a little bit of like a kind of tall. These days he has that long hair, kind of a tall lesbian sort of feature. But did he, did he cut did he cut the beard? I think he's shooting a show for Showtime. So he has to kind of quit the weird kind of beard act. Yeah. Yeah, he may. Yeah, I didn't see a beard on him. But he was having, it just seemed like he was having a good time. Who else was there? Did you talk to him? Um, I didn't talk to him. I just said, welcome back. And I was walking down the hall. Damn. Uh and who else? Uh, oh, Louis Anderson was there. It was pretty cool. Legend. Yeah, he didn't have the beard. He was clean shaven. Yep. Um, his hair was really long, though. Like, super oh, he long. Sick there. Man, it's kind of sad that he's getting older. It's like, it just, 
Because he's like the best. He's like the best of all time. Yeah. He's like a conduit. It's almost like it's not even in his control. It's like there's a higher power that wanted something to be so entertaining to us. Have and you ever seen his, his? He only did a 30 minute special. Have you ever seen it? Mm-mm. Yeah. He, he released a lot of people don't know. He released one special. It was like 30, 40 ish minutes. I mean, it's just good. You Yeah. It, yeah. It depends. If you're a young cut, like for, for me, when I, you know, when I, I would watch that, I saw it years and years ago. I'd watch that. Oh, I can't do that. Comedy's not for me. Because yeah. he's so animated and he's doing these impressions. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's stand-up? There's no way. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah he would turn, I bet he would turn a lot of people off because he's so talented. Like, correct. Know? Exactly. Exactly. If Dalia were more, jo- like, if he had more of a jovial, like, goof, if, jo- if Dalia were, like, a goofball... I could see Delia almost getting to be because Delia can move so well. Delia is a goofball, yeah. But but there's goofball level with Jim Carrey. You know what? That's a good fucking uh, correlation. I uh, yeah. F- as far as right now, I'd say obviously he's Delia is not on Jim Carrey's level. But as far as like that uh, goofy stage present where he's like yes, moving, he and, could do all that. Yes, Chris right. has the physical blessings to be able to do all that. You know, he has those gifts. Like he's so. I mean. He puts his arm out and he's, you know, he's it's three funny. feet from himself. Have, have yeah. You, yeah. Have you ever seen, have you seen, uh, we've brought it up. You ever seen Dalia when he did um, uh, the, the, the lip sync battle? Uh, oh, oh, yes, I have. It's seen. ridiculous. <clears throat> but he's so like gifted with that. And he's yeah. not even trying. He's just so silly, man. Like I'll watch his Instagram videos and it fucking crack me up. Yeah. He's a, a he's a, that's he's right. an anomaly to me in a lot of ways, that's man. A, that's a good kind of. Because because with Jim Carrey, yeah, Dalia too. If you watch Dalia now, but if you watch that Jim Carrey video early on, an inspiring comic, you're like, mm-hmm. oh fuck, yeah. It'd be like being a, a white basketball player watching an Allen Iverson highlight. Like, well, I sure as fuck can't do can't that. Do that. So I'm not going to play basketball. Yeah, I think we got to enslave white people <clears throat> so that we can eventually one day be good at sports, bro. Because otherwise, we're out. We're out. I mean, name a white player. That one guy for Boston, he broke his leg trying to play with other... Are you talking about ba- well, for basketball? Basketball, yeah. that's just... Yeah, it's, it's tough, you know? It's tough. But, you know, we still hold down, so like, quarterbacks. What are... Yeah, so quarterbacks. Linemen. Yeah, narcolepsy, I think, is becoming a sport. <laughs> like, that's like the new white sport. Like, Wait, hold on. Who else do you see at the comedy Sleep store? apnea. Is Who else do you see at the comedy store? Oh, hold on. That reminds me. I saw... Um, I was on Third Street with my fam on uh, Saturday, and there was, a, like, a protest going on for... Energy exhaustion syndrome uh, or chronic fatigue syndrome. Mm-hmm. And then people were getting on the mic being like, I got misdiagnosed by all these doctors. And, you know, they just said, oh, I'm tired and it's because of my work. And then I have a condition where I'm tired all the time. Oh, well, the, some of those people are just fucking lazy. Yeah, that's what I said. I looked around and said, not one of you are in shape. So that might be a problem. <laughs> Dude, if I lay down for two days, bro. I oh. could if I don't if I don't get myself up and go do something I could be I, I could be lazy for the rest of my life. I went to seniors yoga this morning, dude. How was that? Uh, some of it was fucking challenging, bro. Towards they're, the end, these they're seniors farting in there though, huh? I don't know if they're farting. I don't know what they're. I mean, it seemed like anything could be a fart. Anything goes. <laughs> One guy was on his mat for like nine minutes. I thought, damn, that dude's out, dead, <laughs> you know? dead. Yeah. Wait, back to the the comedy store thing. So, uh, Louis Anderson, you saw Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, and they had it all blocked off. Like, they had it all carpeted, the whole back parking lot. Dang. They had curtains. They had, like, you know, check-in, guest check-in Dang. and everything. It was a real deal. Did, did Rogan show up? Um, nope, Rogan yeah, wasn't Florida, there. Yeah. I haven't seen him there in a while. No, well, he just shot his special. Oh, he And did. then he went on vacation. Oh, nice. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. He'll be, he's there, I think he's back Tuesday or Thursday. Good for him, man. Yeah. Uh, Dice, yeah, Dice got up and did some time. He did what? Now was it just commenting on the relationship with Mitzi, or was it like there was some funny stuff? It was some funny stuff. Like uh, Dice had some funny stuff. I don't. I think Dice. I always think it just seems like a dick. But um, it's not even his act. He's also just a real dick, you know. I, I've, like, I've, I've never, I've never met him, and I miss. Like, I'm balls deep, and especially old school comedy. I watch it, and I, I watch that, and I don't get it. Right, but I'm not saying he's bad. I, I don't. I'm, I'm no one to crit, critique comedy. I, yeah, you know I don't. But I it, that, that kind of brand doesn't do it for me. But people love him. He's fucking. He was huge back. He was in big the as big as you could get. As big as he <clears throat> get. Inspired a lot of people. So I respect him, but I've never met him. Yeah, I mean, I think he's a great marketer and stuff. And maybe he's not really a dick, but he's like you, he'll come. Like he would bring. He brought me on the comedy store stage a couple times, and he every time he forgot my name, right, oh. which is fine. But like the third time. Yeah. 
I'm like, it's whatever. It's just not putting any effort in. Yeah, it's like... It's just a lack of respect. <clears throat> that's the thing. At third time, it was a blatant lack of respect. And then I said my name from the back. You know, it was like, who's next? And and I said it. And then the guy said it. He's like, who, who, who? That's you not know? even funny. Yeah, it wasn't the even funny. The crowd doesn't think it's funny either. And he had bombed, bro. But, um, so I guess that made me personally... So maybe maybe the issue's mine, you know? I just have a personal... You know, that kind of hurt my feelings. That's but, your experience with him, though. <clears throat> yeah. That's but he, fair. But yeah, but it was... So he got up. Paulie got up. And it was pretty wild, man. That must have been powerful. It was powerful. He was like kind of crying and like talk and like sharing. And he talked about, they had a comedian that got it before him. They got Argus Hamilton. If you've ever seen that guy, he's really old. He's always dressed in red and white. Yeah. He looks like he's dead, but he's alive. Yeah. And he got up and he, and then Paulie got up after him and said, that guy used to fuck my mom, which was pretty cool. (laughs) Everyone's laughing. Yeah. Everybody's laughing. And then he's like, Andrew Dice Clay was up here. He used to fuck my sister. He goes, so that was pretty. Jesus. So Christ. Paulie, like, you know, just talked about how, what a family it was there. And, and it was interesting, man. Arsenio and he started, Hall get up? I didn't see Arsenio. He might've been there. Howie Mandel might've been there. I'm not Bob sure. Saget. Saget was there. I Kevin think he Neal? got up. He talked too much. Saget talked too much. Um, Kevin Nealon was there just milling around. He didn't get up. Roseanne was supposed to get up. I think, I don't know if she did though. And that was... Did Mitzi pass you or no? She, you were there after. I right? was there after. So the guy Tommy passed me. He kind of looked like a, you know, like a lesbian a little bit, but also like a man. And Tommy's still not... Tommy's not there anymore. It's Adam now. Yeah, Tommy got accused of embezzlement and said so he let him go. It makes sense. Yeah. You can't have that. You can't have a little of it. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's tough. You could take five out of, you know... You, you take, take five, five off the top Yeah, if you're cool. Yeah, if you're cool. But other than that, probably You can't take 20 off the top. It was a good time though, huh? Yeah, it was chill, man. Anybody could be a comedian then. It was like you just had to same back then? get a ride over there. Yeah, 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 same back then. Just get a ride over there. <laughs> I mean, dude. You have, showed up. People tell me, you know, I, I've been there in and out, what, two years now, two and a half. And it's, you know, it's always been, I mean, fucking the spot. Yeah. I mean, it's packed. But you talk to Brian, you talk to Rogan. I talked to all these old school guys like, dude. In like the nineties, that place was a fucking in the early two thousands. It yeah. was a fucking ghost house. Like there's no one around, man. That's crazy. They said, they said you get up at the OR and there'd be two people in the crowd. Brian goes, I once performed for one dude in the main room. Wow. And he was he was dying laughing, and I did forty <laughs> minutes for him. And then drank his blood. Uh, <laughs> Brian might need a transfusion soon, dude. Yeah, he from looks. a young child, though. From like a teenager girl who's going to give yeah. up that blood. Yeah, definitely. Brian looks like Bram Stoker right now. Yeah, he's in that. He's got, But maybe he'll get a job on one of those. Uh, well, he's got his new show coming out, too, huh? Yeah, he starts filming next month. Right now, he's in uh, New Orleans filming a movie with Josh Dremel and, oh, I saw uh, that. and Megan Fox. Megan, watch your, watch your titties and ask because Brian will grab you. Yeah. But, uh, oh, he's at, he's at, he's I told at Brian, I, I said, I said, enjoy doing that movie. He said, who are you going to have mine? I said, Theo. Yeah. And he goes, what? Again, I went, the fans demand it. Man's about to take your job. Dude, I'll babysit his job whenever, man. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys having me, man. I always appreciate it. I'm excited for you. You bring that thing to Calgary. And, Dude, this uh, thing's going everywhere. Calgary. You have my boy Chris LaBelle open up for you? Yeah. Should you? He's going to do it. He's good, man. Is he? He's funny. You got, yeah. you got, you like him. He's yeah, I'm excited. Helpful. I watched his, uh, some of his stuff. Yeah, we got Calgary coming up. We got Timbler Brewing. How was that place in Bakersfield? Oh, that place is dope. Is it? Yeah, when are you doing that? Uh, I think I'm doing it in May. That's a good spot, man. Let me see. I was it? nervous to do it because I'm not experienced as you, and it's a, it's a brewing company. Yeah. So it's not exactly acoustics for comedy and i got there i was like shit because i've done casinos before where it's like an open ballroom i can't hear the crowd so i got there yeah that's the worst it's the worst and i was worried about that there but it was it was great was it it was great yeah the acoustics are the scariest thing because if those are bad it's i've done to where i can't hear anything i get off and i'll look at my opener and my brother and be like damn i bombed for an hour bombed like no, you didn't. We're sitting in the crowd. I'm like, I can't hear shit. And you know how it is? Like, and do you, you have bad hearing? Because you got hit in the ears, huh? Not great. What? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and you know how it is? Like, if you're doing a bit and it's just fucking killing, I can roll with it more. You know, like I have some other yeah. things. But I, would, I I can't hear anything. I was like, and uh, anyways, and I just like speed <laughs> through everything. Damn. Speed through it. But not that place. That place is dope. I always like to drink there, too. Now. They do? Well, it's a brewing house. Oh, it's yeah. Bakersfield. Not a lot going on in Bakersfield. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, now, a lot of fighters come out of, like, Stockton and Sacramento. Is it the same in Bakersfield, or is it different? Uh, a little different. You know, it's... Uh, 
I don't know if you want to go out after hours in Bakersfield is what I was doing. Really? Yeah, tough, tough blue-collar area. Okay. The boys like to drink. Now, is there a lot of uh, homosexuals up there or no? No, they don't. That's frowned upon up there, I oh, think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, You'll well, be well. fine, though. Because, yeah. They might celebrate your haircut up there. Oh, dude, a lot of lesbians hit me up on the DL asking about this cut, asking about this style. It's basic. It's a one into a two. Nothing fucking crazy. On the sides, one into two, huh? Yeah. And the back. Don't touch the top, don't <clears throat> touch the back. You got to thin out the back, and you just got to hope for the best at the bottom. And that's the Lord doing most of that. But I'll be out there at uh, June 23rd at Timbler Brewing, and then July 6th and 7th, I'm in uh, Levity Live in Oxnard. And I'm going to Chicago. The dates aren't on the books yet, though. When are so. you in Chicago? Me and Callan. I'm opening up for Callan Cal- shooting a special June 20 something out there. They're, they're sold out. Both shows yeah. sold out. What, June 27th or 28th? I think it's July, wasn't it? Is it June? No, it's June. Oh, okay. June 21st? Something out there. When are you out there? Dude, I might be in Chicago on June 27th. Oh, wait, no. Damn, I feel, I feel like that's the same. Or June 28th? <clears throat> I might be there because I'm going to do a fundraiser. It says July 20. Is that uh, it? July oh, 20. is it not the July? Wait, but then it says June. Oh, no, that's. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Maybe it says July 20th. Old oh, July maybe. 20th. All right, July 20th. Oh. They've been fun for out at the same time. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> that would be fun. Maybe I'll try to just come out there and watch <laughs> it. Or 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 do or do some time. That'd be fun. That'd be awesome. I'm open up for him. Are you? Yeah. That's awesome, yeah. man. He's shooting a special, huh? Yeah. That's going to be so cool. I'm going to do, I, I think I'm going to do a show in, I meant, to, I meant to hit you about this, I probably shouldn't do this on there so we can talk about it, but I'm, I'm doing a show in June in, at the Ice House. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're around. Dude, I'd love to do it if I'm around, though. Yeah, I know. Because those it's dates, busy. 9th and the 30th, uh, or 9th and... Of June? Yeah, 9th I'm in town. I don't know if that's when it is. I think, I feel like it is. Or what about the 15th? Uh, 15th, I'm in Calgary. Calgary's fun, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, Calgary. man. Yuck, yucks. Come on out, yuck, yucks. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what else has been going on, man. Not too much, dude. Oh, hey, uh, what's we- that? Oh, uh, what were you going to say? I was going to jump some current events. I was going to take a hot piss first. Yeah, though. take it. <laughs> All right. I'll sit in here and talk to Chen. All right. Talk. How you been, Chen? Busy, huh? A little busy, but good. Happy. Is, is Chenny racist? Healthy? or Is it racist called Chenny? Chenny? Yeah. Chenny no. seems racist to me. Dude, I went on JK. You said it. Sounds it. Like, it sounds Chinny? like a... Isn't that what you said? Uh-uh. I call it Gard Brook sometime, but yeah. I think that's... Chinny like sounds like nickname. more endearing, like a Chinny. Oh, Chinny does like sound a sweet cute. thing to say. Yeah, you know what? It's nice, <laughs> dude. Do you know the guys from JK News? Have you been on there? Uh, Have you ever just heard kidding. of them? Yeah, just kidding. Yeah, my friends are. Well, my friend is real good with friends with all those people. Oh, that's awesome! The YouTube crowd. They had that that kid David So. Do you know that kid? Yeah, I heard of him, dude. He's funny. Wait, I've seen him before on YouTube. So yeah, is he the shorter guy? Kind of no, chubby. He's, he's taller and chubby. Well, okay. he might. I think he's taller. He's chubby. Hmm. <clears throat> Dude, he was so great. David So Comedy? Yeah. Oh, David So, S-O. Yeah, I've seen this guy around. He was this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. he's been around for a while, too. <clears throat> like, Dude, having him in might Asian be fun. Stuff. I don't know if you guys have a lot of Asian uh, people in. Uh-huh. Or any people in, but he's a funny guy. Really? He has a good YouTube following, and he's, dude, he was fucking entertaining. I was blown away. He just says so many things that lead to so many conversations. Oh, so he's a really good conversationalist, too, then. Bro, so good. And that show was great. They have 1.7 million subscribers. Dude. Bobby went on there. You Bobby's know. the only Asian to ever be in here that I think. In here? Yeah, I honestly think that he's the only Asian person that has been here, other than me. Right. Yeah. Dang. It, dude, you know what the saddest part is? It was kind of the first group of Asian people that I ever really spent time around. And two of them are Latino. So, but From it was... This guy, David So's group? The JK News. Oh, okay. But oh, it was... I dude, I had so much fun. And they were so much more realer than a lot of time. I expected it to be totally different than it was. <laughs> What'd you expect? <laughs> I guess I... Like, they're kind of like just really to the point and like... Blunt. Yeah, blunt and like Multiple factual punches. exactly how they feel. Uh-huh. It, it didn't seem like they tried to like hide a lot of stuff. Whereas I feel like we get a lot more nervous about saying stuff sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's different than me then. Cause I kind of like hold back. I think a little bit, dude, they were to the point, man. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. But yeah, their subscri- their subscribers are crazy on YouTube. Yeah. All they got guys. a lot of, a lot of fans, dude. Mm-hmm. What's going on? 
these uh, YouTube. He was telling me about a guy named David So. Flexing for you, bro. You were? Yeah. All right, here. Fucking put them. See, I'm I'm giving you that. Damn, bro. I know. I looked like a I looked like a honey badger. <laughs> you look like you got stung by bees, dude. <laughs> Gold, <laughs> golden be bees. Perfect, bro. <laughs> Should we do some uh, current events? Sure. What do you got, son? Dude, well, Chin was saying, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. that the only Asian guest you ever had was Bobby Lee. That's it, right? I'm trying to think. That yeah, had to be correct. it. Yeah. That's wow. Had to be it. I haven't had any yet. I've only had four guests. Well, I had uh, Eddie Bravo. He's not Asian, but he's <laughs> he could be Asian, bro. You know? <laughs> Filipino or something. He's, uh, I think he's Latino. Yeah, he's Mexican. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, Bobby Lee, really, yeah, the only Asian dude. I we got to so. get some Asian guys in here, huh? I mean, who cares? But if they're funny, <laughs> who else would you who who would you want on, Jen? If we if we let you pick any guests to come in the studio, uh, <clears throat> comedian wise or any Asian? doesn't matter any Asian any Asian just an Asian. Oh, we're trying to get homeboy on the get the guy Kim Jong Kim Jong yeah yeah that would be awesome he would Kim be Jung, great yeah. so there you go trying to get him on just him Jen that's yeah. all with the pop you don't want like a right K pop right group or some shit in here if we could get some K pop members that would or be a Z ridiculous. ball Dragon Z ball what <laughs> Z about ball. one of those guys Pokemon character or some shit I don't know those characters yeah um this kid's funny David So I don't know if you ever seen him or not I was on the, his show the other day called JK News no I haven't seen it bro this young this dude their whole group was really yeah. really funny really yeah bro it was crazy I, I went out I was out in East LA and then suddenly I'm in a base with like Latinos Asians bro and I, I went to this thing one time downtown. You pay these two Vietnamese dudes fifty bucks; they'll fucking beat you up, bro. They put you I in like don't one want of that. You don't. You think you don't? And that feels nice because you deserve it, bro. What? Did, well, I don't deserve to be beat up. We all deserve it. What did they do to you, dude? What if a guy came up to you right now, punched you in the fucking face, right, yeah. and said, "You know what that's for," and walked off? I wouldn't know. <laughs> But could you think of something? Maybe it could be for being for awesome. Well, okay, well, look, if that's how you take it, then that's good for that's you. That's a punch in the face for being awesome. Yeah, then that's All right, great. that's fair. <laughs> then, dude, then that's great. I would be like, oh, fuck, there's a million things. I did that cut that one guy yeah. off. Oh, I would. Oh, bro, there's a million things I could think of. Not for you, but for me, you know, if that happened to me. See, I'd be like, ah, oh, that makes sense. I'd punch me in the face, too. Yeah. To have the audacity to think of buying a McLaren. You know what? You should punch me in the <laughs> <Yeah>. face. <laughs> But if you were like, fuck, man, that's for being awesome. That's a, you're so lucky. Right on, bro. Yeah, yeah, right on, dude. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, Let me exchange the favor now. A couple of Viets down there with just body, you know, just a lot of body blows. You put on one of those dog bite suits. It's 50 bucks. They beat you for 10 minutes, bro. Kicking in the nuts and shit? Yeah, you can't feel your nuts. You can't feel anything in the dog bite suit, but you can feel the just. You but can no feel head it. trauma, though. Uh, Nothing. Nothing you couldn't handle, bro. You can't really handle. You might not be able to handle it because you have some. I've huh? had a few, yes. Yeah. Now, but I don't know if I want that. I don't see what I'd get out of it. You've you know? probably already had it. You probably got it built in after whatever happened to you. You just feel like you like you need it. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I deserve it. I feel like I deserved it. And I almost, I, and I tipped him afterwards and I fucking deserved it. You man. thanked him. Did you bow? Mm, I don't think I bowed. I just, I don't think Vietnamese people do any of that. They just show up and fuck Is that you true, Chin? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they so show up and fuck you up. That. They eat, fuck you up, or whatever, and go. <laughs> they cook you food afterwards? Oh uh, no, but they had food outside. They had a truck, one of those. Oh, food it's like trucks. a Betty Hanna's, but they beat your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like that. Sick, dude. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Rowan, yeah, it felt good. But anyhow, so that's what it was. It was down there, and it was just place, and it was just awesome, man. It was bro. Great. Why don't we? I don't know. What you tell me? What day? I'll get us some Panda Express. Nice meal. Yeah, yeah. We'll go down there, get our ass whooped. At least do Panda Express and bumper cars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the very least. Can you do bumper cars? Because you can't do a lot, right? Yeah, I, yeah, they don't make bumper cars anymore because it's 2018. But really? yeah, I hear you. Nope. They sure oh, as fuck wow. don't, Theo. You know, the bumper cars because uh, you sue them. Yeah. You remember those bumper cars? Your neck would, my neck would snap. Oh, yeah. My brother, I'd be having fun like staring at the hot chick. My brother just come fucking sidecar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. You can sue these days. It's so messed up. There's somebody dying off of peanuts and bumper cars. When I was young, fuck them. They're out, you know? I agree. You're the weak link. Yeah. 
It's like adult asthma. Maybe God don't want you down here. Maybe you don't want you breathing. Yeah. Yep. If you can't breathe, then you shouldn't be alive. It's a sign. Yeah. God's saying, I need you up here more. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't take a couple hits off the universe, then you gotta yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's it, man. You can't drive a bumper car. Get the fuck out of here. Well, we gotta get some Asians, man. I need to get some Asians in my life. I realized I had a couple Viets. Do you like Asian women? I gotta get a couple Latinos. Do you like Asian women? I think I like them. I met a Korean girl one time. Mm. Yeah, and this was in Idaho. Chin's a listener. Oh. He's a liking. And Idaho. she Idaho, no Utaho. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, her legs wouldn't come apart though. She had. You ever get like chopsticks that are real too hard yeah. to get at the top, yes. and they won't oh, break? She's like a mermaid. She's a Korean mermaid. Yeah, she was kind of mermaid, but with two legs. Bro, you ruined a mermaid. <laughs> no, I didn't. Bro. You tried separating the mermaid's fucking I tried, tail. Bro. I tried. You were dealing like, with a Korean mermaid and even fucking realize it, bro. My fucking shoulders gave out. I fucking. <laughs> I tried for like three minutes. So, but, but I guess general, it was God's you know, plan, you know. I, it, well, or you ruined his plan. His plan was for the dark arts to meet a nice mermaid, Korean mermaid, and you fucked her life up. And she can't function. Oh now. man, dude, do you think? Are you want Asian's not your style though? Oh, I like it. I think here's my issue sometimes that I have around I find some Asian. Asian so attractive. Do you? Oh yeah. I feel like I don't know. I don't understand the vibe. You know, like like I, if it's a white girl, like I just grew up around white girls or so around black it. girls. Yeah. So I, I get the vibe. I get if there is a vibe or if there isn't. But around a lot of Asian people, um, I haven't been around them much. So I'm not. You don't know how to act. Yeah. I don't know what is, if they're flirting, if they're not flirting. So it's, I don't feel like they to, can't see me. It is tough me. to tell. So I don't feel like Asian people can't see white people. <laughs> That's tad racist. Yeah. <laughs> not really. I, yeah. I don't think so. I just feel like. <laughs> they don't. They don't recognize you. Yeah, they don't see me, or they don't see. I, maybe it is tough. It is tough. Like Chin, you have a. I'd say you have a dry sense of humor. Yeah, for sure. Do you? I don't know what that. <laughs> I would means. imagine I it's do. tough. Yeah, you don't know if he's upset, if he's happy. Yes. Oh, okay. That's it. Like you could have thought. Yeah, your the father could have on their died. face is tough to. Yeah. You did could, you just get a? Did someone give you a Ferrari, or did your dad die? You yeah, know, I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. That's the thing. And I think they keep their joy inside because like us, we're just so verbose and like showy, you know, and I think Asian people, they keep all their joy inside. Hmm. And then at the end of their life, they like whisper to somebody and say they were happy. (laughs) (laughs) And then they go to heaven. Wow, that makes sense, man. Uh, That's what I think. But I don't know anything. Also, we had one group in our town growing up called Whites Against Mexicans, and we didn't have any Mexicans. And then they actually ended up trying to beat up an Asian kid one time. Oh. Uh, they tried channeling their anger towards the... the, the because, anger. yeah, they didn't know. Mm. And then they used to call us Mexicans growing up just because my brother had real dark skin and I had kind of olive skin. Uh, yeah, me too. I hear you. I, my friend uh, Cody Donovan, who's now one of my best friends, and ended up being a real close friend. He was a fighter, right? Finally, you've seen. It was eventually one of my training partner's coaches. But when I was in college, we got in a fight. Uh, in downtown, and I'm gonna fight with one of his friends. He didn't know me at the time, and I'm always tan. And I was a big dude, and he said, "You were tanning? Oh no, I'm always tan. <laughs> I was I was running outside, so I was extra dark. Right. And uh, someone separated me and his friend. That dark shout Cody, running around, boy. Yeah, big brown. Gun it down and cook it. <laughs> Gun it down and <laughs> dude. It. And then Joe you know, Rogan would eat you, bro. Let me tell you this: the second the world arrow. ends, he'd shoot me in the arrow. Se- oh, in a heartbeat, heartbeat, bro. And eat my ass first. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, bro, yeah, for sure. That because that's the ass. freshest meat. Oh, 100 percent. And bro, I, he'd make flank steaks out of everybody's oh, ass. He'd eat my ribs like they're fucking beef ribs, bro. He'd be just grilling assholes and catching in his mouth dude that guy he'll cook anybody anyway. i bet he's killing people out there and cooking them good chance out of camp rogan but my camp rogan but my friend cody did also he didn't know me at the time he goes shut your fucking mouth you mexican i was like what wow, yeah 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 you see i thought i was mexican you. wow yeah i get a lot <laughs> crazy, though. Dude. i, I can see lot. it though yeah I could see it, man. You've almost been beaten into a couple of different ethnicities, too, from taking those punches. Like, your face swells up. Not too bad, though. Really? I stay brown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't see it, dude. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. You're at, right now, you seem a little bit more like Czechoslovakian. Like, you could be like Vladi Divac's fucking kind of handsome son. You really? Know? You look With like De- Detlef Shrimp's fucking <laughs> adopted brother. <laughs> Bring up that little shrimp for me. me. You look like that little shrimp's fucking malnourished younger brother. Oh, the dumb. You look. You look like that little shrimp if his if if his stepdad oh beat you. God, <laughs> look at that dude. Oh my god, dude! I look like that little shrimp and Shrek had a son. 
Damn, dude. Bro, to be Old white, you have to be nine feet tall to be white to play in the NBA. Oh, minimum. <laughs> yeah. And then it's be 10 foot tall and just cool, man. And it's just black dudes beating you up and then you have to retire. You're correct. Um, what were we talking about, man? <laughs> Mm, how Detlef Shrimp just stepped in. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta get some. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get some. Um, you need more Asians on your show. Yeah, I need more Asians, man. We're gonna get. Some, we're gonna get some. I need more anybody. I gotta get find some neat guests. We got a. We got an escort that came in, like a real escort, like a shot, like a hooker. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think she's pretty gal. You Where'd know, you find her? Found her on the internet, and she just wanted to come on the show. She wanted to get some things off her chest, bro. What'd she get off her chest? Um. I mean, she has small tits. Oh, so. that's not good. That's but not yeah, good. but that's okay. And a lot of men, you what, know. What ethnicity? White? She was white. But, uh, small tits, big ass? Nope, small ass, too. Oh. Mm, maybe escorting's not for her. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what it seemed like. That's like being a race car and not having, you know, nitrous or, yeah. or being real slow. <laughs> yeah. Like, you probably not be a race car, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It'd be Lightning McQueen. Maybe that's like, yeah. She looked like Light McQueen. Like, just no, you know, just... She was just basic. She weighed about 80 pounds, yeah. Okay, this is a terrible escort. Yeah. That's like showing up for the NASCAR and there's a Prius in the bunch. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, fuck, man. What's that doing? <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, But anyhow, so, yeah, we had an, an interview with her. What was she talking about? The struggle? She was talking about how she used to work at a peep show and, and uh, like, dudes would put money in and That's this thing would go up and then they would be back there with all these toys or if they felt like fucking yeah. or, like... And she said there was a, on the other side of the wall where the dude was, there was always a bunch of, um, you know, jeez them back there. Jeez. And, uh, Some what? Jeez them, you know, jeez jerking them. off. Oh, okay. And <laughs> that the guy, they couldn't even chisel it off after a while. It got oh. so hard on there. Isn't that crazy? Oh, That's the power of jeez them right there, bro. Oh, wow. So how old is she? She's about, I think, 37 now. Oh, she's long in the tooth. Yeah, she's definitely losing some gum. What does she, what does she do now? <laughs> she still does escorting, and uh, she also, I think, I know, she makes beats, dude. She's getting into music, <laughs> which is crazy, but that's, you know, that's what's happening, Sounds bro. like things are going well for her. Yeah, yeah. Those are the people I know, boy. That's the champ. You wanted the champ. You got all his, uh, you got all his friends. <laughs> you know, the Rat King. Yeah, yeah the Rat King. The Rat King. king. The worst prostitute I've ever heard yeah. of. The Rat King and his broth of fucking princes. Yeah. <laughs> the Rat King, boy. The, let's go to current events. I'll pick too. my teeth with my tail, baby. The Rat King is here, dude. The Rat King and the Bee Sting. We're out here, dude. <laughs> Fucking you, you, yeah, the Rat King, aka Detlef Shrimps, your fucking finished. younger, <laughs> oh, dude, younger son. I, I look like Tom Brady and Shrek had a fucking kid, bro. The Tom eight, Brady, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Tom Brady. I look like Tom Barry. You ain't got nothing <laughs> with Tom Brady, son. Dude, your finishing move is the anaphylactic <laughs> shot, bro. Yeah. You fucking. You fucking out there raising bees, dude. You look like a fucking fat dude that got better, but is also raising bees, bro. That's what you look like. Dude, bro. you look like fucking, like fucking wolves have been teething on your ears. You look like baby wolves have been teething on your ears. You idiot. Let's do the news. Dude, you have women's shoes in here? What the fuck are you guys doing, bro? Dude, those are Game of Thrones kicks, son. Sure they are, bro. Hey, keep your fucking guests, my guests, I mean your prostitutes, from my fucking <laughs> studio looking for shoes. Dude, whose shoes are those? They're no ones. Those are They're kids. Those are women's kids. <laughs> oh, give, give us the news, Jen. What, fucking... uh, what do you think of this chick, first of all? Ooh. You, yes. Right? Yes. Uh, here's some more pictures of her. All right. Looks Okay, not mad. That one's not that great. That one's a little creepy. Well, did you hear about that girl that was sending some guy 65,000 texts after one date? Jeez, yeah. that's her? That's her. Wow. That's her in pictures, but this is how she looks when she was caught. She's still hot. She's not bad. She looks uh, like a UFC fighter. What's up? Like a woman. She looks like a female UFC fighter. You know what? That's bit. a really good person. Hold up. Scroll up. Mm -hmm. Does that say Hitler lover? So she, she called herself some sort of a female Hitler. So <laughs> Oh, she's crazy. Yeah. So she sent him 65,000 texts. She drove from like Florida to Arizona where he's at and then broke into his house, took 
a bath in his bathtub. Mm. And she's, I feel bad for her. She seems kind of like out there well, for I sure. Your next guest, deal. <laughs> I think she's open <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> uh, she might be bipolar, huh? So, wow, bipolar. Go back. Yeah. It says in another message she wrote, don't ever try to leave me. I'll kill you. I don't want to be a murderer. <laughs> wow. Oh, what would I do with your blood? I'd want to bathe in it. Oh, damn. Yeah, I found your next yeah. guest. Bro. Call herself the new Hitler. What? <laughs> That's guess. good for you, dude. That's it. Dude, maybe you should, should uh, let Callum bathe in some of it, bro. <laughs> uh, do you want to hear some of her? Yeah. Does yeah. she sound crazy? She sounds crazy. She seems like uh, like crazy, but I don't know if she would do anything crazy. She's pretty hot. She has a chin on her like Quagmire, though. <laughs> yeah, she got that. A man after just one date. At one point, she claimed to be his wife. She showed up at his house, broke in, took a bath, and sent him thousands and I'm thousands jealous a little. of text messages. I'd so, call her yeah, boy. I'd call her down as bitch. On a road trip from Florida. Uh, Why is she breathing for, like that? I guess love. I she says she met the victim oh. online last summer on a site called Let's See. We met him online. I was looking for my healing angel. The, the psychic mm-hmm. I met told me I would meet a healing angel. She's completely out there. Well, psychics lead women astray. <laughs> Since that time, the man has reported her outside his home and for threatening text messages. Police say Addis sent 65,000 text messages to the victim. This guy sounds like a pussy. He can't handle that. I know. <laughs> oh, this, some, this is a down-ass girl. Threats. And I told him if he ever blocked me on WhatsApp that I would come and move here. So he blocked me. So wow. Came here. Okay. The so she's loyal. Well, did she, you know, she's a woman of her word. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I don't see the problem yeah, with this. This guy must have such a strong dick game. He can pass up a loyal woman like this. Yeah. Do you now, have- what bothers me is say some oxygen for the rest of people in that room. Yeah. Why would she breathe yeah, like yeah. that? She's all God good. damn. Uh, she might be on one of those oxygen loading things where they, you know, where you... Takes a while. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and you load up so you can hold your breath. You ever done that where you load up and you can hold your breath for like three or four minutes underwater? No. Mm. No, I'm not a scuba diver. Dude, you can look on an online. It's like a way to I've breathe. I've heard of it. And they say that's how uh, David Blaine broke the record. Yeah. Some say yeah. it's cheating. Yeah, it's definitely cheating. But well, it's, I mean, it's Errol Flynn used to do it, the guy on Tarzan, because he would do scenes where he'd have to be underwater for a long time. Oh, wow. And he could hold his breath for like seven minutes. Mm. But they, uh, that's how you do it. Yeah, you just keep loading. Well, I don't know if she did that. I think she has some sort of problem. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that could have been it. Yeah, I thought she was trying to be in a contest or something. But she could have a problem, yeah. But, yeah, she seemed wild. She seemed She's a little hot bit... in those pictures, but... Yeah, she... you would never be able to tell. She got kind of a medium neck like I got. <laughs> She's hot as hell there. Oh, now that's kind of full you know, neck. We, want, we might want to be careful what we say, because she's probably looking to cha- channel her energy somewhere else. <laughs> and I don't want to be on the end of that. Dude, how many guys are kind of, like, turned on by this? Because I feel mildly erect by this. <laughs> Me too. I'm a little aroused myself. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can handle that, dude. No, I can't handle it. that. That many text messages, I'm gonna have to block you myself. But yeah. if you could channel that back to how many say hundred a day, five hundred a day, five hundred. If you can tone that back to five a day, I'll fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. And 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 don't text me after six p.m. Yeah, yeah or yeah. before seven a.m. Yeah, we and know. definitely don't ever call. Yeah, not when I'm. And don't tag that. me on anything on Instagram yeah. or Twitter. Yeah, stay out of my life. You basically yeah until this dick needs pleasing. Damn. Oh, damn. I th- but no, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I Not bad. Right. No, definitely. We got to get these dicks out there. Okay. What else you, you know? got, Jen? Uh, this one where a giraffe headbutted a director. Gang, gang, bro. Death. I respect this shit. Oh, man. Have you, did you see this? No, but I know why, dude. Because Hollywood shows up in people's neighborhoods, people's towns or whatever. Think they can do whatever they want, right? These giraffes mm-hmm. don't play them Hollywood rules. Nope. No repercussions, dude. That's why, you know. The only time Hollywood ever came to my neighborhood, they, you know, people, oh, they wanted to get video of somebody saying we saw an alien or something, you know, like. Oh, I saw that video that got, I, was in, I, I knew always. that was the leprechaun. Yeah. I saw the leprechaun the the only, tree video. It's the only time. It's always, they come it. and just make us look stupid. Yeah. So guess what? We're fucking striking back, dude. Head button. Yeah. You want to fuck with regular people? You want to fuck with regular animals? You're in Africa and you're going to go fuck with a 
What is that animal again? Giraffe. 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 For sure. For, you know, that's a giraffe. Yeah, a but, long animal. You're an idiot. <laughs> well, this what, what's interesting, too, is here is they told, because he's shooting a doc about giraffes, which I'll probably skip that documentary, but yeah, no, boring. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a giraffe, but boring. But the thing is, is they told him, don't get too close to the giraffe because mm-hmm. there's a risk of this. Mm-hmm. He didn't listen. He got close. And out, if you've ever seen giraffes fight, they swing their necks. Mm-hmm. Well, that he was right up on the giraffe. The giraffe swung Boom, headshot, dead. He got necked up, bro. And they, they talked to the guy who uh, owns the sanctuary, and he was like, he pe- he disobeyed the rules. Yeah. Like, this is draft doing draft shit. We're not putting the draft yeah. down. Raft's going to raft, dude. And if you get, you know what I'm saying? If you start, especially if you if you trail along a draft's neck, guess what's at the top? A fucking head, you, you idiot. You're get burned. You're going to get By straight burn, up I mean, burned, boy. Head butted. Dude, but how? And they have horns. Here's a little fact for yeah. you, too. Uh, yeah. I struggle sometimes with spelling as a kid. Do you really? I could see that. Not dude. anymore, though. Well, you're, <laughs> hey, bro, you kid. have the mullet. So you have <laughs> yeah, mullet. Yeah. So, um, but I used to think uh, giraffe was giraffe. Oh, I thought it spelled wow, with a D damn, dude. until I was about 23. No, giraffe's a black dude, bro. Uh, now I know that. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought it was giraffe. You thought it was giraffe. That's giraffe. a real story. I thought it was a giraffe. <laughs> Damn, Fuck dude. you, public education. They let me slide on Giraffes, boy. No one ever said anything. Look at them porcupines over there, <laughs> son. You know what I'm saying, boy? Them horses are crazy. Dude, bro. I just got this golden retriever right here. <laughs> I got all the fucking mammals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought it was giraffe yeah. for the longest oh, until my friend Shane Carwin, who's the educated man, went, you know it starts with a G, right? I went, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he goes, I swear. I went, wow. Dude. I have a college education, two degrees. No one ever said shit. <laughs> Dude, they had a kid in our town named Robitus and Hearns, this black dude. That's a great name. It was beautiful. Is he a thought. doctor? Um, nope. I think he actually did end up working in a medical facility, though, but I don't know in what facet. Yeah. You know? But right this was a call. long time ago. Robitus and Mr. Robitus. Yeah, Roby, they called him. Robro. Yeah, Roby, Robro. Uh, Roro. Yeah, people probably call him Roro. I'll call him Robo. We had a boy named Dress to Kill in our town, and he uh, <laughs> would wear church socks all the time. And the crazy part is he ended up going to jail for murder. Damn. So that's wild. Why'd he do it? What else you got? Who knows? Uh, another one, Wild Park one. So this is infuriating. A family, a French family, went out of their vehicle to a mm. cheetah Can't trust in enclosure. French. That's what you get. You French out, boy. So the French get out of the vehicle? Yeah, which... Tell, uh, does a kid die here, Chin? No, there's no deaths or anything, oh, so we're, we're fine no here. I'll show you the video, though, right now. Yeah, because Asians don't care if somebody oh, dies. They don't. <laughs> Chin acts like it's a normal day. <laughs> so this is them. Uh, this is not them. This is, is another lion? Cra- another crowd cheetah. following Come on, those people. Oh, no. Hey, no, no, no. So these, the oh French family's taking pictures outside. And then you can see them running back to their car right now. Jesus. Their kids there, but they don't fuck with those people. So ch- look how close they get. They're, they're actually stalking them right now. See that? Oh my they're god! They're getting super close, but they don't want to kill them because they yeah, would kill them if they wanted to. They just want them out of the territory. They wanted the baby. Oh fuck! Where was the baby? Just in her arms, right there. Oh my! But god. But they let the baby go on on its own for a oh little while. Oh my god! Those parents should. They should just be wow. slapped around. Yeah, and that's this is them before. You'll see him right here, out of the car, taking pictures of the cheetahs. Fucking How French, stupid bro. do you have to be? <laughs> the only thing they've ever given us was fries. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, the French, dude, and giving up early on stuff. That's the most French thing you could do. Wearing big hats. Mm-hmm. Um, women and men looking very similar and wearing, slicking their sideburns back. Mm-hmm. Um, not uh, washing their hair all the time. Mm-hmm. What's other French Wigs. stuff, dude? Hollandaise sauce, wigs, wigs, what else? Salad dressing, yeah, dressing. There's, dude, the fr- bro. There's nothing you can do than be fucking. If you're French, if you're being French, bro, stay, stay at home for me. You know what? I, we should just hire those uh, Filipinos or whatever you're saying, just to beat them down, but without the dog suits. Oh, a couple Viets, bro. Yeah, a couple Viets. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'd put fifty bucks on a couple of French, dude. I'd pay for a couple of French And no Panda downs. Express either afterwards. This is the most French shit you can do. Get out and touch an animal. With your kid? Yeah. You get, God, that's Imagine they get out to get a kid, and then their kid gets killed by mm-hmm. a lion. That's happened. God, Those man. are cheetahs, son. Mother Nature's ready to strike back, dude. I'm telling you, this stuff's starting in Hawaii, the volcanoes. Ooh, that volcano's some scary shit. And people think it's like a spectacle, so they get out and watch it. Bitch, that's a volcano. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. A volcano. That is... 
the world melting and exploding <laughs> up, and it's on fire. You know how insane that is? That's that Jesus, we're, we're used to movies. Mm, so we're like, oh, cool. <laughs> that's that fuck. That's the the earth magma <laughs> firing at you. People oh, taking selfies dude. and shit. Dude, the earth's just a big nut, bro, and that thing just straight up is busting it's out busting. there. Yeah. <laughs> busting. Dude, there's a video of a guy cooking a hot dog, walking along the lava what? with a hot dog on a stick, cooking bet, the hot dog above it. tastes fresh, though. I mean, that's awesome. Lava grilled dogs, bro. You can sell that on the internet. Open up a pop shop. What else you got, Chin? <laughs> yeah. Lava dogs. Uh, we just saw this. That Wiz Khalifa talking about potentially going into MMA. That's not real, is it? This well, is a video? MMA. So I'll show you the interview right here with TMZ. He's going to ICU. He weighs like 30 pounds. Good to see you, man. Good too. Hey, we talked to Jay Glazer the other day. Yes, yeah, my man. He said you could go pro if you really wanted to. I could. Jay's just would joking. You, We're trying to make headlines. I like rapping better. Oh, really? I wouldn't be a professional fighter. I just fight. You know what I'm saying? Would you, oh, right, right. Would you, would you ever consider like getting into Bellator or UFC or anything like that? I like Bellator. Uh, I like their organization. They're super cool and their fights are fun to watch. Yeah. But like, you got to pay me a whole bunch of money to get me to fight. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely, man. That's why I'm just training. I train with the best. Wow. They show me all the best shit. Oh, man. See, that, that's the product. This is the same. You know what? You can stop it, Chin. This is the same. So Callum pays this rich dude to teach him tennis, mm-hmm. and Callum thinks he's good at tennis. I said, how much you pay that man? He tells me. I go, that's his job to make you believe that you get at tennis. He's oh, paying yeah. that man. Same shit here with Wiz Khalifa, and I've seen him hit mitts. I've been around a few mitts. I know people can fight. Really? He can't fight. He can't? So he's paying Jay Glazer a shitload of money, and Jay's like, you could do this pro. And that's motherfucker thinks he can fight pro. Do you think he really believes that he could fight right now? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. Do you think he, uh, who would they fight him against? Somebody like who? Well, Roy he's about 6'7". He's about six, seven. He'd probably fight Demetrius Johnson. He probably weighs <laughs> about 115, 125. What about that redneck guy, that fat, that white guy? Roy Nelson? Roy Nelson? No, no way. Nelson would yeah. break him in too. Would he? I'd yeah, watch Nelson. Roy's a hell, heavyweight. I'd watch that. But no, you, you know. I'd It'd watch look him like the number 10 if they were fighting. Be him and then Roy. Look at like the number 10. It would. Inside yeah. that octagon. <laughs> you, we don't want that. I'd watch... Uh, I'd watch him versus anybody else with the last name Khalifa, dude. Isn't there a hooker with name Khalifa or a stripper? Ooh, no. There's a there's a there's a, a porno star. Yeah, right. She is bad. Boy. Oh yeah. She follows me on Twitter. Has I've watched him fight. She deal. does. Yes. Wow. I know. Mia. She, Mia. Cool. Mia Khalifa. Yeah. I'd watch she, him versus Mia, and Mia looks like she could win. She looks way stronger than him. <laughs> she definitely looks stronger. He's like nine feet tall, man, <laughs> and weighs a <laughs> buck. <laughs> Straight up, yeah. 100 pounds. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, it would be like trying to walk through a force and you get like a branch is near you. That's what it would be like if you see him like moving one of his arms. Well, it would be like fighting Jack Skellington from fucking uh, the, the... Tim Burton movie? Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yeah. He's like a real life Tim Burton. I character. love Christmas, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's a I'm thinking right about now. MILFs, too, dude. I had all these dreams. I had these dreams that I was at this at an airport, but there was water in it. And uh, all the lifeguards were MILFs, bruh. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. And I've been having that dream, and it was Christmas time. Did you wake up jacking off? Mm-mm. I don't know. He used to jack off in his sleep, though. Oh, wow. That'd be terrible. Yeah, he had a tough time with it. And he um, and they made him wear these jingle bells on his wrists after a while. To wake him up? Yes. Yeah, so that makes wouldn't... sense. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if it makes great sense, but it was effective and cheap. Yes. What is this also about? Sorry, I interrupted you. No, go ahead. Oh, what else, you, what else you got? Yeah, it's whatever. What else you got, Jen? Um, Damn, bro. Hotties everywhere. I know. All right, so. Damn, boy, in, you came in here horny today. <laughs> dude, I am horny, bro. I, something's wrong with me, dude. Your nuts or are something's up. right. Your yeah, nu- my nuts. Your nuts are filling up. You on that testosterone Nah, man, I'm off it. I thought about getting back on it, but your hair, I feel like my hair will fall out. No, that's not true. You don't think so? No. You you it would do you a favor if it was pulling back some of your hair. Your really? hair's about to run in <laughs> your eyebrows. Dog. You shitting me? Whatever, you have so boy. much hair. Whatever, boy. Uh, were you on? Uh, were you ever on TRT or testosterone replacing? No, I used to take testosterone back in the day to go to the gym. You know, I used to do no, that. But see, there's a difference. There's some steroids and testosterone that test your levels and mm-hmm. be like, oh, you need more energy or leaner muscle mass, and they put you on the correct dosage. Oh wow! Yeah, and you'd, you'd shoot it every week. Uh, uh-uh. did you ever do that? No, I probably should. Yeah, would you? Have, you but you can't go back and fight anymore, right? So, no, I would. 
No, right. Never. Mm. But you, but yeah, you wouldn't. But if you took that stuff, no, you definitely couldn't. You couldn't. You might be able to do Bellator. You couldn't fight in the UFC, though. Right. Do you feel sometimes like that, vi- like, that you had an aggression at that <clears throat> time that's not the same now? Like oh, it's 100%. Just, yeah. yeah. 100%. Because I've never seen any of your fights, man. I couldn't even imagine you. Like, I couldn't imagine you as a fighter. And I don't mean that in any offense, you know? No I think- offense taken. Yeah, a lot of people can't, like... Uh, I was watching the fight Saturday. My girl's family's in, in town. They're staying with us. We're watching the fights, and her grandma's like, I can't believe people do this. And then someone's like, well, you know, Brendan used to do this. She's like, no. And she's like, what? This goofball? And then we had to bring up highlights. She's like, what the no fuck? Way. And I was watching like, oh, it's a different dude. Wow. It's just a different game. That's cool, though, man. That's great that you uh, this. I mean, that's cool. Just to go to different, to be able to take on different things and, you know, and, uh, and stick to them. That must have been the hard. Was it so hard to just keep training and that kind of stuff? I love the train. I still love the train. Um, but it was just it was, it was it was stressful and scary for me. Yeah, stressful and scary. And were there some animals out there in that sport? I mean, there's some savages. Yes, yes man. Yeah. Yes, hell yeah. God, phenomenal fighters. Stressful oh, game. It scares me, bro. Me too. It scares me a lot, man. I get scared of that having a really fight somebody like i could fight somebody that i could beat up you know yeah but to really fight somebody man and have to really defend myself yeah bro. it's not gonna be easy there was no easy fight no swords no, they're all good <laughs> no hatchets bro nothing bro yeah dude did anybody ever try to like sneak anything in their waistband like you couldn't do anything like never that, huh? like in blood sport like put salt in my eye or something like that yeah. like crunch it up like tongue lean never. yeah glass up your knuckles or something no yeah man they, they i would cheat to. I would fucking put some cinnamon between my fingers right there or something, or, you know, I would do something, you know, or hide a little bit of pepper right there in my knuckle. Oh, wow. You I know? I don't know if that's going to help. I think it could help a little. <laughs> if you get pepper in one of somebody's eyes, and then one eye, then you're fighting like a one eye. You could person. just poke them in the eye, and they give you a warning. Yeah, but that poke, they, you know, that pepper, they might not see it. It's so small. You know, or glitter even. A glitter they'd see. Because if, if you miss the eye, you're going to get it on their cheek, and they're going <laughs> to see that. I don't know. I got to think of some more strategies, bro. I wouldn't be the best fighter, though. It's not for everyone. You what know? else you got, Jen? I would be the Fear Bear. That would be my fighter name. You'd be the king, Rat King, bro. Yeah, Fear Bear <laughs> Rat King, dude. Some guy would just take me <laughs> by my mullet and just fucking <laughs> slam me against the fucking cage. One time, man. I can't What's the cage made hey, out of? Fucking steel? Is it really? Yeah, it's, a, it's a steel cage with rubber over it. Oh. Hard as fuck. I could do more of a wooden cage type of thing. What does that do? They don't do anything like that. It's splinters, huh? son. Yeah. But that's splinters, more my thing. Bro, hey, hey, bro. You know? I could hey, fight with a little fucking... Hold on. This just hit me. You know you're the only dude in 2018 who strives for a mullet. Yeah. Like you're the only, you know you're the only guy who rocks the mullet, You correct? think, bro? No, I know. <laughs> dude, no. I don't know. I see tons of people. I've never in 2018, shit, Price in 2016, I've never seen another grown man with a mullet on purpose. There's some haters out there, bro. I know, man, but you just keep rocking People it. are afraid. Boys step into the hair cage. You know what I'm saying, boy? I'll see you in the octagon, bro. I can't imagine with a different haircut. In the wooden hair cage, dude. <laughs> I'll take on anybody. Any barber. Bring it on, dude. Rat King don't care? Dude, when I grew this out. Yeah, Rat King don't <laughs> care. When I grew this out, dude, this thing changed my life, man. Yeah, things started going better once you grew the mullet. Yeah, well, I just felt more People like myself. People start taking more serious. <laughs> I don't know if they did or not. I don't think they took me serious anyway, but I didn't take myself serious before. Because I was always mullet. trying to look like, I always tried to look. I was always concerned about how I looked. Yeah. And now I don't care at all. Really? Yep. Well, you're a good looking dude. It's not like you're hideous. I'm an eight, bro. If I take an care, if I brush my teeth. That's a solid number. <laughs> eight? Yeah, dude. It's a high. strong number. It's a little snowman, you know? Eight's solid. I would, I would definitely give you an eight. Eight's really? fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eight, eight and a half? If I, I'm not an eight and a half, man. If I brush my teeth, I'm an eight. Um, I would say you're an eight. You possess skills, too. You're funny. I don't have a lot of skills, though. You know, my skills are very, I have some skills that I keep secret, and then I have some... <laughs> like dark magic? No, just different types of stuff, you know? Sure. I'm not going to say some of them. <laughs> uh, but then some skills that people know about and that they're not very, that I'm not skillful at. Comedy are skillful at. Yeah. Chicks dig that. 
Yeah, chicks dig it some, but they dig it more on some other people out there, you know? People that didn't fucking win the fucking strap, you know? <laughs> like Chris D'Elia. D'Elia gets the ladies, bro. That's fine, dude. Have the ladies, bro. Uh, let me see you get, find it. Why don't you find about a, it's about a seven pound strap. Find well, a seven pound lady you can wear around your waist, dude. Well, D'Elia's tucked in at night. With a dime piece, you're tucked in with that belt. You tell me who's lonelier. What's yeah. up now, Delia? Yeah. Well, you're busting nuts on in women. He's busting nuts on belts. Yeah, I'm polishing up this fucking belt with, with some cum. straight up body coom, baby. You know, <laughs> I'm throwing out that freaking straight up Louisiana coom out of my bees, bro. <laughs> oh my god, is that what else you got, Jen? Uh, that's pretty much. Is that it? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Man. What is that thing for, Theo? Oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh, this was last night. They had this at the uh, comedy oh, store okay. thing. I think it was the hospital. Or getting in there. Yeah, it was fun, man. You got in there. And I they... know, but why are you still wearing the wristband? <laughs> no, I don't like know. A water park or some shit. Yeah, maybe shower, you want to keep it or something. Dude, the water park was the thing, bro. Remember it, that? It was the thing. I, even back then, I didn't wear aqua socks. It was just, <laughs> really? uh-uh, I didn't celebrate those. <laughs> Dude, damn. Never. But you seem like that kid that, like, Bro, I bet you were like the biggest fucking kid. Were you no, always? I was, no, I was a late bloomer. I was really? small, yeah. But I always had the mindset that I was bigger than anyone. So my nickname was Biggs as a kid. Yeah, you know why? Because you were big. You idiot, <laughs> no, I promise. My friends called me Biggs because I, I always thought I was bigger than I was. No, because no, like, you actually no, were I big. I promise dude. I was. I was small. Yeah, I was that's a late what you bloomer. Think, dude. <laughs> no, I promise. Bro, you don't know how things work, though. Yeah, I because do. you need a mirror. <laughs> dude, no. You need a different mirror. We've been over this, <laughs> dude, bro. You need you need some fucking bee sting medicine. Somebody put some calamine lotion on this, dude, bro. You need to come out with Brian calamine lotion, <laughs> Brian dude, Calum- and put it all over your face, dude. Are you living with bees and you don't know it? <laughs> Damn, dude, are you drinking bee milk? You milking bees? My God, dude. Fuck you guys got to grow up around here. <laughs> yeah, we do, man. <laughs> we do got to grow up around here. We all do. Huh? We all do. Where you at? Are you at the, your comedy store this week? Yep, I'll be at the comedy store, man. I think I'm back to the Laugh Factory on Friday. Are you? This Friday or next Friday. I think I'll be Friday. up there, man. I'm trying to go to Chicago Laugh Factory. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. Been no. to Long Beach Laugh Factory. I'm trying to go there. Um... And I'm going to have Nicole Arbor come on my podcast. You ever heard of her? Mm-mm, what's she do? She's funny, bro. She's a comedian? Yeah, white girl. You know, but... Uh, I have to see her. I'm bad with names. Bring it up, Jen. very name? funny. Is she at the comedy store? She just came out with this new thing called uh, N- Nicole Arbor. N-I-C-O-L-E-A-R-B-O-U-R. Dude, you know who's so fine? Oh. God. She's Jesus. She's pretty. And she's very funny. She's gorgeous. Bro, she's funny. She's like really funny. Dude, she is. She got them tatans, dude. She's ridiculous looking. Dude, she could probably breastfeed herself when she was about three months, bro. <laughs> she got huge tits. Uh, Too bad there's not video of a baby. She's like a real baby. comedian? Um, she Or she's a personality. She's a personality, oh, but gotcha. she could be a real comedian. She's oh, but she's not up at like comedy store and laugh factory and shit. No, she does stand up, but not there yet. Gotcha. Yeah. But she definitely is super entertaining. Jeez, yeah. Dude, that's <laughs> it appears so. Man, she got them Guatemalans, bro. You know? <laughs> so you have her on the podcast? She got them leche watermelons. You feel me, boy? Yeah, I feel you, bro. Yang. Yang. Get in there, boy. <laughs> Get in there. Her, Some new told me uh, he was at a UFC event, just kept screaming, Get in there. <laughs> yeah. And then other people started screaming. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that too, man. Funny, man. I've been getting some good videos, man. If anybody has a good get in there video, send it to me on Instagram. Please do, especially at a UFC event. We yeah. We post that shit. We need that. I had one guy legitimately DM me, goes, Theo's right, man. You need to check the mirrors in your house. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you fucking moron. Yeah, <laughs> also, uh, just come out and jerk off to me if that's the kind of stuff you're going to write me, bro. You know, that guy's obviously jerking off to you. Oh. All dude, right, there's got to be some dudes out there that are jerking off to you, I bet, that also have wives, you know? <laughs> what? God, Why? Yeah. You don't think any are with you, especially in the South? <laughs> no. <laughs> because there's too much religious pressure down there for men to be doing that. No, see, but I think they do that in the in the privacy of their homes. Oh, no. You don't... See, I, I feel like the, the Southern... They they get done watching NASCAR and then they gather around and watch a podcast and jack <laughs> no, off. Dude, no man, nah, you don't know a lot about a lot of stuff because <laughs> what happens is there's a lot of dudes in upstate New York. I bet, dude, just grilling fucking hot dogs 
and uh inside though not outside yeah it's cold, you know? it's yeah. cold up there bro a lot of dudes with fucking neck tats bro jacking and, off to me oh yeah but then they all go their separate ways and jack off <laughs> yeah bro. like they're ashamed like all right bro i'll see you about 10 bro <laughs> See about ten, dude. Gonna go work on my car, you know. <laughs> but they don't even have cars. Yeah, <laughs> jack off. off. It's yeah. a jack off party, man, dude. You guys always talk about jacking off in here, bro. Right? Here's the one that the Rat King brought that shit in here. I'm trying not to jerk off. Every time I come in here, it's you me came back. in here horny, bro. <laughs> I am talking about this poor girl. Talking about some prostitute you had on your show. God, dude, don't remind me about all of this. Keep that Prius of prostitutes away from my studio. Dude, if they had a car that ran on straight body coom, bro. She would be first team all oh. body? No, I'm saying that I'd spray into that thing every morning, bro, and fill the tank up, oh. dude. Oh, wow. What if they had a bro. car that ran on semen in the future? Bro, all right, well, don't don't refer to her as a car that you'd spray <laughs> no, into not, and dude. fill up with body No, coom. not her. If they had an actual car, she's a, so she's a human being who I respect. <laughs> But if they had a actual car that ran on b- that that body seed, you know, that fucking, that Jeez, fucking you'd be yeah. able to make it to work and back. All right, man, <laughs> we got to get out of here. You, uh, yeah, yeah. I get, I get two more shows to do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Wow. I know. No, Callan. I get the grind is real, brother. Dude, I need to learn. Uh, if I want to start learning more about MMA, like, what do I start watching? You know, do I have to start? Is there like a historical matches that you should start off with? Oh, yeah. You get UFC Fight Pass. You get like you want like classic. You want me to give you like ten fights you need to watch? Yeah, you yeah. Some shit, or what do you want to know? Or yeah, you maybe just text I'll, me questions. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, don't text me like that crazy girl. But yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to text you that much. Yeah. I'm just outside of your apartment with those wrestler ear things on. You know? Just laying mats in your yard. Yeah. A million questions. Yeah. As real as it gets, bro. Yeah. Just doing body rolls out in the yard, bro. Oh, fuck. That's great. Uh, thank you guys so much, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, Appreciate thank you. it. You're the best, man. Thanks and, for filling in. And thank Brian for uh, letting me sit in his seat for today. And uh, th- Calgary, go see this, man. Yeah, thank you guys. And Chen, thanks for, for having me in, man. I appreciate you all mean, your help. You, you mean Calgary? Give them give your dates, son. Yeah, Calgary, man. June 15th and 16th, I'll be out there. So come out here and get some of that, uh, that fucking heat, that full body heat. I'll be at Cherokee Casino, and that's June 9th. And then I'll be at Timbler Brewing, and that is uh, June 23rd. And then Charlie Goodnight's out there in Raleigh. Have you been there? No, I have not. Raleigh, North Carolina, and that's June tw- July 20th and 21st. So I'm excited about getting back, getting down there in, in North Carolina and seeing what's going on. <clears throat> For sure. I'm sure you see some f- haircuts like yours out there. Uh, uh, where can they get tickets at? You can get them all at theovon.com slash uh, tour, T-O-U-R. Go see this man. If you're listening to the show, go see this man. He's one of the funniest in the world, and he's also our guest of the year last year. You will see what you do this year. But you're coming in with heat, son. The I'm- Rat King ain't messing around. <laughs> this is the fighter in the Vaughn. We're out. The strap. That's awesome. That's awesome, bro. If you're watching this, it's all possible to one of our main sponsors now, Audible. I'm talking about Audible Audiobooks. Audible is offering our fans a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash tfatk, all lowercase, and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download a title free and start listening right now. It's that damn easy. Recommend a book. You want me to recommend a book to you guys? There's so many. Born Standing Up with Steve Martin, my personal favorite. They have millions. Go browse it yourself. Any genre, anything you want. Biographies, they got it all. Go to audible.com slash tfatk, all lowercase, or text tfatk to 500-500 to get started today. Enjoy.